So in this video, we're gonna go through some free kit bashing libraries that you can download for free. Did I mention for free? For free. Now this first one is from Spacehead. Now there is a link in the description for you to download all these. So make sure you click on that. And there are a few good assets in here. I do like these rocket engines in here. Now what I've done is I've created a simple world, put on my own shader just to give it this pizzazzles, but obviously you can go about and do it yourself. And once again, these are all for free as well. But let's now go ahead and jump into the next one. So this set here is from Adrian Rathowski. There's five in total. And this is what the structural parts and look how nice they look. Now I've applied just one of the materials that I have lying around. Simple sky texture just to bring it out. And mm, I have used these in the past to create some artwork. But once again, for free. Next up, we've got three 4K PBR texture sci-fi panels. Let's go check them out. In Blender, we've got the Node Wrangler enabled, Control Shift T. Let's go to the location of our files and let's go base color, height, normal, roughness, metallic. And we get this very nice looking shader straight off the bat. Let's just change the scale. That's pretty suave there. So obviously it's a texture so we can dump it into any program. Let's have a look what's next. This is part of my full kit bashing set. However, there is a free library, which I think is about half the size of this. But if you sign up to Patreon, you get access to this and all the 3D scans and all my project files. So check that out as well. Link in the description. Now it's kind of hard to think that this next set is almost 10 years old. I still use it to this day. It was made in Blender 2.4 by the legendary Chris Kuhn amazing there are some really good assets in here and definitely that you can use in pretty much all projects even back here he was making train assets and for those of you who've been following chris goon he's now doing model train sets amazing um but definitely some really good assets in here like especially this engine here looks quite nice um these train tracks down here oh, i 3d scanned something like that recently and i know chris loved his constraints so this is something that he set up as a jet engine that's pretty cool so next up, we've got this material from a November that happened obviously in November. Um, works really well on a flat plane. Obviously you can see that the subdivisions are actually quite high. However, if we go ahead and add in a new mesh, the monkey, let's just go G, add the material, come to the modifiers, subdivision surface, make sure it's simple. You can see that I've got it on level four. It's very much dependent on the mesh density. But, you know, you're doing a Death Star scene, Pfft, go nuts. Now, if you know of any other libraries that are for free, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know.